In this video, I will cover returns outwards. I refer to the case study clip Fontaine as it is covered in the chapter 20 and 21 of my textbook Basics of Accounting. In the first part of the video, I cover a periodic inventory system and in the second one, I apply a perpetual system for inventory movement. I'm Carsten Berger, full accounting professor in Osnabrück. My basic scripts will help you to understand international bookkeeping. Company Clip Fontaine Limited applies a periodic inventory system. The facts are as follows. The company orders 130 pots at 23 euros per unit. This will give us a gross value to the extent of 3588. The bookkeeping entry is as follows. Debit entry purchase, debit entry value at tax, credit entry cash bank. Later, the company will return half of these pots to the supplier. The refund received is amounting to 1794. Following the periodic system, Clip Fontaine makes the bookkeeping entry as debit entry cash bank 1794, credit entry value tax 299, and another credit entry in the returns outwards account to the extent of 1495. As we apply a periodic system, we use a purchase account. We further need a value to tax account and cash bank. The opening value in the cash bank is unknown, so we just indicate it by three dots. Now we make the first bookkeeping entry, which is the acquisition. For the return, we use the returns outwards account. In the returns outwards account, we make a credit entry for the net value. We have to adjust the input VAT claim, which is 299. And in this case, the company Clipfontaine gets refunded by a cash receipt, which is a debit entry in the cash bank account. In the next step, we prepare the trading account. In our case, the opening value is zero. So is the revenue. Next, we close off the purchase account to trading account. 2,990 and the reference is TA for trading account. In the trading account the reference is purchase. 2,990. As we returned 1,495 euros, the closing stock in the inventories will be 1,495 as well. It's the other half. Next, we close off the returns outwards account, 1495, the reference is TA for trading account, and we make a credit entry in the trading account with the reference returns outwards. As we can see, the trading account is zero balanced, which gives us gross profit to be zero. Next, I cover the perpetual inventory movement system. So purchases will be just added to the debit side of the inventories. In our case, it is 2,990. For the return, we apply the returns outwards account. We make on the credit side an entry by the bookkeeping entry number 2 to the extent of 1,495, which is a net value. If the company receives a voucher, the debit entry in the cash bank account is replaced by a debit entry in the accounts receivables. 
if the supplier will reduce the bill, then we make a debit entry into the accounts payables. With the next bookkeeping entry, we close off the returns outwards account to inventories. That way we know at any time how much is the value on stock. We only have to balance off the inventories account. It's not necessary to prepare a trading account at this stage, nor do we have to prepare a profit and loss account. Now that you have seen the video, take the textbook and study with it.